Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. It is the night before the Kansas City Sports Show. I'm going to be doing a video on that tomorrow and the next day. Uh, but it is snowing, cats and dogs right now. And we are about to put boots on Scout. You guys have been asking about Scout. And uh, he has never worn boots. This is going to be hilarious to see his reaction. We got some rubber boots for him. We already got about four inches of snow. And it's only been snowing for a couple hours. So we're going to let him outside here and see how he reacts. Go outside. Come on. Come on, Scout. Go. <laughs> oh, he knocked two of them no. off. All right. Go potty, Scout. Go potty. That's hilarious. <laughs> Go potty. He doesn't want to walk. <laughs> Go potty. Hey. Go potty, Scout. He lifts his feet so high. Yeah, he's hilarious. I don't know if you've been around Golden Doodles, but they have so much hair in between their toes that they get tons of mud and snow and clumped up. Snow freezes and in between their toes. Yeah, the snow freezes and you can't even get it out with a rag or anything. It just has to melt and it gets everywhere. So these boots are going to be nice for him. But yeah, let's get on to the Kansas City Sports Show. Driving down there in all this snow. It's supposed to snow all night through half the day tomorrow so we'll see how this goes but when we get down there i'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the kansas city sports show everything going on the hottest booths out there i'm going to be working the tight lines uv booth and the savannah marine booth and uh, i'm also going to be selling some baits myself so yeah let's go to the sports show We're out here at the sports show. I'm at the Tight Lines UV booth at the moment. We got some of my baits here. Uh, Norby's Finesse Spinner Bait. If you guys have seen that, I've caught some giants on it. Uh, it's in my last video about the top 10 catches of 2018. Uh, the Mo Rig, if you've ever seen that. And then uh, if you haven't seen Tight Lines UV's new Whisker Baits, they got some awesome baits. We're walking over to the dog jumping competition. Uh, it's pretty loud in here. You can hear them barking. We'll go see how far they're jumping. Here we go. That's awesome. They are seeing how far the dogs can show. We're doing a little competition. It's pretty awesome. 20 feet, 8 inches. I do need you. And yes, folks, she is a treat. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I watch this crazy yellow. I'm going to call him by name while he's in the sixth day. Just so you know, I probably left about three feet early there. That's awesome. They got some dog jumping competitions going on. I also got a trout pond here at the KC Sports Show. People are catching trout on little flies. Fishing caddy. All right, guys, for ice fishing, we got the fishing caddy here. Put a couple rod holders in there. Um, sit on the bucket, toss your fish in it. Are these little lights on the front? Yep, the LED lights. Little LED lights, all right. Just twist and turn them over. Awesome. Awesome. You can ice fish at night with these guys. Pretty sweet. We're gonna walk around a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys some of the booths I think are cool here and uh, see what they have to say about their their company or the organization they're working with just to give you guys a little insight if you weren't able to make the Kansas City Sports Show. Okay guys, we got Garmin at the show today. They have some awesome graphs, some awesome new live scope products. If you guys have seen that, um, they got the panoptics, traditional panoptics there. That's what I run on my boat. And then they got the new live scope forward. Uh, it goes under your boat. If this is your transducer right here, you can see everything in real time. Uh, this is where your trolling motor's at, under your boat, and then out uh, they got it set at 70 feet right now. You see some trees with some crappie sitting around it. Pretty awesome new products by Garmin. But uh, yeah, you guys will see me running Garmin this year. I'm thinking about getting uh, live scope instead of panoptics, but some awesome gear. I need to get down to Bull Shoals. They got some monster bass, some smallmouth spotted bass, uh, crappie. Look at the size of that brown trout. That thing's got to be about 20 pounds. That's crazy. We got a ton of boats at this uh, sport and boat show down here in Kansas City. 
but uh, I'm down here with Savannah Marine. They got some awesome boats. They picked up Crestliner boats along with the Lumacraft. They're selling both of those. Awesome little boats for just going out fishing with your family, um, walleye, crappie, bass. And then they got a sweet catfishing edition. I'm gonna walk over here to it real quick. Uh, be awesome for the river. I know you river fishermen like using a huge live wheel. Look at that thing. That is huge. You could fit a hundred pound cat in there, keep it alive all day. Um, this right here is a 20, 20 foot, I believe. And then uh, we got this big old crest liner enclosed uh, compartment if you're sitting in the river. Um, got your catfish rods out, you're waiting on one to bite, you can enclose, turn the heater on. And uh, yeah, some awesome boats. But go check out Savannah Marine. They have some an inventory or they can order you a boat based on what you're looking for. Uh, Joel's an awesome guy, easy to work with. Awesome Mercury mechanic, will always fix you up, do you right. So yeah, make sure you go check out Savannah Marine. Walking by some more boats here, you got that new brand, Vexus. I don't know if you guys have seen these Vexus boats. Right now they just have uh, aluminum with fiberglass insides. Pretty sweet looking boats. Um, they got some white ones here as long as a maroon and silver one. And uh, yeah, one's got a sold tag on it. Very cool new brand of boats. I know they've only been on the market for 13 months. So I hear they're coming out with something awesome at the Bassmaster Classic. You guys have to stay tuned for that. As always, you got your Nitro boats, you got your Rangers, you got your Luns, Lund pontoon, and uh, check this out. If you want a dock put in on uh, your, your lake house, we got Econo lift over here. Some awesome dock lifts. Professionally managing ponds, Midwest Lake Management. Yeah. What can you tell me? If I got a little pond and I want some help managing it, what can you tell me? Well, we can grow big fish and lots of them for you. We All can right. keep the weeds under control. Okay. We keep okay. the water quality enhanced. All right, grow big fish. Grow big fish. Crappie, yeah. bluegill, catfish, bass. You name it. You name it. All right. Anything fresh water. All right. And you do this in what area? All the Midwest. All the Midwest. Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, okay. Illinois, Nebraska. Okay. All right, guys, if you need some help with your pond or you need to restock some fish, you need them to come out and sample, and you don't want to go through the conservation because then anybody can fish it and it's open to the public, call up these guys, Midwest Lake Management. Making the world a better place one pond at a time. That's right. Okay, guys, they've had a bunch of shows down here at the fish tank. They got some bass crappie, some drum, some carp in it, some white bass. They've been sitting up on this. A uh, little boat here casting, uh, doing doing some presentations for people. There we go. If you guys were able to make the Kansas City Sports Show, comment your favorite uh, little presentation if you got to see one. The conservation Department's got a booth set up. I want you guys to check out these deer. Look at this thing. This deer is ginormous. I'm a big bow hunter myself. Look at the size of that. They pull out some giant Missouri deer. Giant non-typical. Man, I'd love to run into a buck like that. Be awesome. Yeah, they're just here uh, telling you about the outdoors, anything you need to know about the conservation department. Okay, we gotta stop here. We got the Lake Fork booth. What can you tell me about Lake Fork? I've never been there. I do a lot of bass tournaments. Full pool. The lake came up about 11 inches overnight. Okay. We had a lot of rain. It's all cleared out now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. We're in normal pool now. Okay. Uh, spring season. Okay, you do some guide trips? Yes, sir. 26 all right. years. We've been there for a long time. All right, 26 years worth of experience on Fort. How many bass do you think over 10 pounds you pulled out? Oh, I have no idea. I've got five fish over 13, 15, too. Woohoo! Personally? Personally. All right. Well, not personally, no. My biggest okay. right here is 14 8. 14 8. That's awesome, Dennis. So Dennis has put people on five fish over 13 pounds and a 15 pounder. That's he's crazy. Got, he's got some 13s in here too. Yeah? yeah. Awesome. 13 is the biggest we got in the 13, that's huge. I'll be going down to uh, Lake Comadero in Mexico in yep. two weeks. Excellent. And You'll love it. Yeah, hoping to sack a big one there, but you will. we'll that's have to see. Lake. Thank you guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Lake. Next booth here, we got South Dakota walleye chargers. What lakes do you guys do charters on? Lake Francis Case, Lake Sharp, and Lake Oahu. Is that okay. I've been on Francis Case. I had a smallmouth tournament there and uh, caught a few walleye. Most walleye than smallmouth, isn't it? Yeah. Well, 
No, I was targeting the smallmouth, but um, definitely caught some bigger walleye than smallmouth. That's awesome. Do you do guide trips all throughout the year when it's open? And, yeah. And frozen or no? <coughs> frozen isn't what it's cut out to be. It's, okay. When there's good ice, which is not that often. Yeah. We, we can do some spectacular walleye fishing. Okay. The ice, okay. But, yeah, you got the moving water. And, it's tough uh, to book trips sure. two months out of the year when you, you, you sure. don't know when things are coming. So your normal seasons from what? March or April to November? Yeah, normally around the first of April to the end of to the middle to the end of November. All right. April to November, guys. If you want to catch some walleye, check these guys out. South Dakota Walleye Charters. You guys have a website? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go to walleyecharters.com. South Dakota Walleye Charters .com. There you go. Catch some giant walleye. We got some big stringers of fish here. Pretty awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, guys, those are just a few booths. Um, you really got to come out here to Kansas City Sports Show to see them all. There's a bunch here. It's probably one third booths and two thirds boats. So many boats if you're into boats. Show's just about getting over. We're going to pack up here and we'll catch you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.